Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today at 5 p.m., we're gonna have training on setting up your first holding company and operating company, step by step. And with that, I've sent out the email to the corporate paper students. If you didn't get it and you see this video, hit me up before four o'clock. Do not be emailing me at five o'clock because I'm not gonna answer you because I'll be prepping for the webinar. So if you are having any issues or anything, also let me know before four o'clock. And with this, well, when we're talking about holding companies, there are many people who have an established LLC and they want to turn that into a holding company. And I consistently advise against doing that because if you have an LLC, and I'll give you an example, and this happened to a friend of mine. He, he didn't listen to me. He had a trucking company and he had that LLC and then he wanted to do a holding company. So he turned that trucking company LLC into his holding company. Well, guess what? His truck two years prior was in an accident and they actually have up to five years to sue. So guess who they sued? They sued him and his holding company. And because they sued this holding company, everything that was in the holding company, including all operating companies were exposed. And I, I, when he called me up, he's like, well, I was like, motherfucker, you should have did it the right fucking way, the right time. Like I told your silly ass. I mean, how much does an LLC cost? A hundred bucks. You trying to be cheap. Now your, your, your tender parts are in the fire. Cause I yelled at him. I was like, don't do this. Do not turn an existing LLC that you have done business with that's been exposed or you file taxes on into your holding company. Once again, do not do that dumb shit. I'm going to teach you how to do it correctly to make your LLCs and holding company situation bulletproof where no one can sue your holding company. No one, don't, don't do this. Stop being lazy. It ain't that much money. And I'm like, and I'm like, dude, you had the money and I, I, I sat you down and I told you exactly what to do. I said, turning that trucking company LLC into a holding company was going to be a recipe for disaster. And it was, and he lost the lawsuit. He had to give up. Uh, was, he had to actually shut down one company because the lawsuit bankrupted his company. So do not turn an existing LLC into a holding company. We're going to talk about what you need to do for existing LLCs. We're going to talk about what you need to do to get your businesses set up correctly because guys, I, I got a comment up here and I, I want to say something. I'm not trying to be dismissive, but I got some new tires from my poor Cyan. They were like 1400 bucks. They were like 1100 bucks for the two rear tires. And I got all kinds of comments like, man, you spend the money you don't have to. And I, I, I like, let me say this from my viewpoint. I've been driving luxury cars for the last 20 years and they're expensive to maintain. You know the type of tires I put on that poor Cyan? The type of tires that were recommended. Do you know that most tire places don't carry 21, 22 inch tires? I went to Butler Tire, I went to Pet Boys. Pet Boys didn't even carry them. And the guy said it would take him a week to get the tires. And I needed tires, you know, cause I, I knew it was taking the car to get it uh, for recall work where it's at Porsche right now. And essentially it's like, I just spent the money. So when it comes from back from Porsche, it'll be ready to go. And it really wouldn't have been, and I, I went to Tire Rack. Tire Rack would have saved me 40 bucks. And I would have had to wait for the tires to be shipped. So understand, if you do not drive a luxury car, and most people don't drive luxury cars, I mean, the tires for my X5 are like $2,000. You, 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 like I said, and I'm going to say it again, I'm going to piss some people off. If you cannot afford to pay cash for your luxury vehicle, you cannot afford to drive a luxury vehicle. Because tires, brakes, brakes on my X5 are 
1500 for the back, 1700 for the front. And this is not at the dealer. It would be more at the dealer. So this is where this, my mantra comes from on, you know, there are many people on YouTube that will urge you to finance Ferraris, finance, uh, you know, Lambos. And the minute something break, and I got a friend, I got a friend who owns Eurofed, Mickey. They got a guy with a Lambo. And the guy got a first time Lambo driver, once again, driving these exotics, you just can't drive them like you drive regular cars. You just cannot like run over some stuff or, and this guy, he was just driving it. He ran over a curb in his brand new Lambo, $40,000 worth of damage. See, you, you, you just cannot do this. And this is a problem I'm experiencing with my BMWs. Um, Essentially, I'm getting people who don't understand how they have to drive this car and they're doing damage. And um, like I said, you know, I'm not trying to spend money because I got money. I'm trying to do it appropriately. There's a reason that Carfax, not Car Carvana, gave me $22,000 for my X5. It was low mileage. I had two keys. It was well maintained. It was in good condition. So going back to doing things in the appropriate manner, and that's what I'm talking about with the holding company. You got to set it up correctly to get all of the benefits and protections of the holding company. And everyone is trying to finesse or find the sauce or find some slick. Um, I'm not going to teach you some finesse way to do this. I'm not going to teach you some sauce. I'm going to teach you the legal proper setup of a holding company and your operating companies. So if you're looking for the sauce or the finesse or some free game, Hey, go to some other YouTube channel. I'm not going to teach you that just like I keep my cars properly maintained and I do it the right way. I'm going to teach you how to set up your holding company and start your business the correct way there. You know, um, I, I watched a video where a dude was just sitting there. I'm just sitting there like just. <sighs> so we're going to start teach you how to do your holding company the correct way, teach you how to do your operating company the correct way. I got examples of some stuff that I set up for my active car business and we're going to be talking about that. And, you know, come to this training ready to take action. This is something that I'm doing very different with the corporate toolbox, not the corporate toolbox, but the corporate papers. It's very action based. Last week's training, you had something to do. This week's training, you're going to have something to do. And do not wait to get in the corporate papers because I'm going to tell you, if you wait to the end of August and the price goes up to get in the corporate papers, you're going to be four weeks behind. And it's going to take you four to five weeks to catch up. So the time to get into the corporate papers is today, today, get in the corporate papers today. Cause you know, like last month, um, I was rushing, I was doing the, I didn't give people enough time to get in. So the price isn't going to go up until September 1st. So get, but don't wait until the price goes up, go ahead. Get in now and I'm going to tell you why. There's a clock that's ticking. Once you sign up for the corporate papers, that's when your clock starts ticking. Guys, you're looking at a two to three year process to really get your business set up. Like, let's talk about my car rental business. I feel that this month I've already made $6,000 first week. So this is going to be a 20 something thousand dollar month. I've been doing this. This is the beginning of my fourth month. So September will be the beginning of my fifth month. October will be the beginning of my sixth month. And around November is when I really feel that I will have a firm grasp on this business. Now, I am a seasoned entrepreneur. I'm a seasoned operator. I've run a physical retail business. I've run online businesses. So what I'm doing is very, very fast. And it's still going to take me 
six to eight months. And that's very, very fast. You are smart, you're hardworking, but you don't have the experience. You don't have the seasoning. So you're looking at two to three year journey. And the sooner you start, the sooner that clock, it starts ticking. Because um, yesterday, and I'm gonna do a whole video on this, um, I sold the car to CarMax on the Saturday. I hate doing things on Saturdays like that because you have to wait because everybody's there. So I had to wait an hour for their appraisal. I had to wait for an hour for them to cut the check. And then I could not buy the two cars that I was trying to get because the dealership closed because it took so long. And I felt that yesterday I wasted a lot of time because if I knew that it was going to be like that, I would have brought my laptop and I would have got some work done. Didn't know it was going to take that long. Didn't know it was going to be that way. And essentially, many of you are putting your business aspirations in that same box where you're wasting time. You need to get started. You need to get your holding company. You need to get your operating company. You need to get your, your banking. You need to get, get started, get started because that clock doesn't start ticking until you get started, man. It doesn't start ticking until you get started. And the sooner you start and stay active, the sooner that this one to three year period will reach its, its you know, it, it will, you, you'll get to that three year period quicker. Because I saw, and we'll, we'll be talking about this on the training today, um, with the car rental business, right now, it's shitty. It is shitty, and I've learned a lot in the last three months. I have learned that people will drive your car to hell and back, warning lights, check engine lights, all this, and will not call you, will not let you know, will let your car run out of ass, destroy, run out of oil, destroy the engine. I have learned that people will take your car, not pay you, and refuse to bring it back. I have learned so much in these last 90 days. And it's been painful. It's been painful as you can see with the videos. I have learned that you cannot put nice things in the hands of yard birds. You can't do it. They will tear it up. They will tear it up. And I, I've, I've, you know, like I said, uh, I've learned that, you know, everyone is saying, you know, you buy a $5,000 car and throw it on a higher car, right? That is 100% wrong. You're gonna have a hard time finding a decent service of car because this is something I've experienced. My 2008, well, the, the Camry was a 2012, but it had a lot of miles on it. That's gone. My Acura 2008 had a lot of miles on it. It's gone. The Range Rover that Romy Rome messed over, that's gone because he screwed it up. This car was in mint condition when I rented it to him, mint condition. And I've learned some, you know, and I had to relearn some lessons because I already knew these lessons. The people that get the best deals are your worst customers. I have seen this in my storage auction business. I've seen this in my commercial office, but I've seen this over and over and over again. The people that get the best deals are your worst customers. Like that savage animal that messed up my X5. See, I have learned, I have learned, I have learned. And once again, talking to you guys. Yes, I did put out last year that I would do some consulting and once again, I sent out emails, people did not get back with me, people were playing around, and I was like, all right. So now you get a discount on consulting because I need to have your full attention, I need to make sure that you're available and mentally ready. Because I've learned, people get the best deals or your worst customers. Across the board are your worst customers. 
And I had to revisit that lesson again. And, and this is one of the reasons that with the corporate papers, there's no $150 payment plan. Because last time I had a whole bunch of people who dipped in, had exposed it, had exposure to the courses in the next month, just like these people who rent my cars for two days and then instantly go late and then they instantly stop paying. They would get booted out, but they, they had access for a whole month. And that's why I got rid of that. Um, one of the things that I want you guys to understand is I'm going to teach you how to run the business, like the corporate papers, the holding company, the operating companies, that stuff's important. But the day-to-day -day activation, starting, branding, and running your business, that is even more important. And that's why you want to get into corporate papers today. Because once we, we did training number one, we did training number two, and then we're going to do training number three. And like I said, if you keep waiting, you're going to be behind and you're going to be scrambling because uh, there's um, like 300 people in the corporate papers right now. And, you know, we're going to do some big things. So go ahead and get in. The link is below. Use that promo code to get in because I cannot impress upon you like yesterday. I was so frustrated. I was so frustrated because I hate wasting time. And I was just sitting there. I was like a little kid. I was like, are we there yet? I was just like, Arr. I kept bothering people. I was like, are you done? This other guy, because the guy was doing my appraisals, he was slow as Christmas. And this other guy, he was pumping the mouth. I was like, how come I didn't get this guy? I come in and get this guy. So do not wait. Go ahead and get in the corporate papers. Be there for today's training. You're going to have to do last week's training. And also, when you join the corporate papers, do the first training first. It is set up step by step for you to be successful. Don't like, I'm not going to do that. That's going to be a mistake. The first training from last week is so critical to your overall success, it ain't funny. So go ahead, get in the corporate papers, start your training, start learning, because next week we're gonna get into establishing the companies, because essentially these first month of training is going to be pretty easy, pretty easy to do. But when we get into the actual building of business, like, I'm gonna give you an example. On Toro, I've had a car, a guy rent my car three times. This is super important. No one on the YouTube talks about how to get repeat business because they, they're not running real businesses. They're, they're just trying to gas you up. And also, uh, I have discovered a strategy that's gonna be in the car rental course that where I put a BMW on Toro and Toro recommended that I rent this BMW out for $38 a day. I rented it out for $66. I bought the car on Tuesday. I picked it up. I bought the car Saturday. I picked it up on Tuesday. Thursday, that bad boy was rented. Four day rental. I bought it on Tuesday. I, I picked it up on Tuesday. I put it on there Wednesday. Thursday, I had a four day rental. Thursday. And it already has another rental. Another four day rental. So I'm going to talk about this strategy. And this, is, this is a strategy that you're not going to get anywhere else. You're not going to get in these car share groups. You're not going to get it in these Facebook groups. You're not going to get it in these online forums. Because essentially everybody's trying to be lazy as fuck in the car rental business. And they don't know how to build a business. They don't know how to brand the business. They don't know how to grow, get cut. Once again, I've got people renting my cars on hire car and... Toro multiple times. It is easier once you get a customer to serve them over and over again versus just consistently getting new one offs. So I'm building relationships and I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. Like I said, I just started this car rental business three months ago. We're in our fourth month. And I guarantee you, my car rental course is going to be the best fucking course on the internet because it was started by someone who had started 
multiple businesses. You got a lot of clowns on here who got lucky when Turo was young and they put their car on there and they're embedded in the algorithm. They got lucky. They're not true business people. They're, I'm gonna teach you how to get your Toro business started, how to get your hire car business started and get instant rentals and start making monies. There's a, there's a few strategies that I've implemented on Toro that have been working really well. I'm gonna teach it to you in the course. And I got this other strategy because I bought two more cars that are gonna go on Toro and um, we will see. We will see how this strategy works for the new cars. Because essentially, when your car is sitting, you're not making no money. So I would rather rent it cheaper than I want to to have it out than to have it sitting in the parking lot where it ain't making me no money. So we're gonna be talking about this, but I guarantee you this is gonna be the best car rental course on the internet because I, unlike all of these people, have started successful multi-million dollar businesses in the past before I came to YouTube. Before I came to YouTube. How many folks can stake their, put their flag in the ground and say, look, I started a million dollar business before I came to YouTube. Graham Stephan can't say that. His business is because of YouTube. Me, Kevin can't say that. His business is because of YouTube. How many of them can actually say, and meet Kevin, he tried to start a business and one year it failed because he didn't know what he was doing. So I'm gonna teach you how to get you, you know, starting with one car, one car, starting with one car. Everyone doesn't have the money and that, that would just be ridiculous to create a course essentially for a very small group of people who have like half a million dollars to invest in a car rental business. That, that would be real fun. But I'm going to teach you how to start with one car and, you know, there's going to be a lot of things in there that you're not going to get in any of these other courses because they're not real business people. They're not. They lucky. They just got lucky to get on Toro and they start making some money and that's all they know how to do because I look at a lot of stuff. You don't have your own commercial insurance. You're not doing the, as, acting as a commercial host. You don't have your own website. You've been on Toro five, six years. It tells me a lot about you as a business person. You're not a business person. You're an opportunist. You got lucky. I said that. Yeah, I said that. You got lucky. I'm talking about all of them. Even the pretty chick in California. She got lucky. She got lucky. They don't have to pull it out the mud like we do. Like, I'm on Toro. I, I put some cars on Toro. And I didn't understand, you know, I didn't understand how to work Toro because I would go on Toro and I would look. And once again, this strategy is very, very powerful. And no one else is going to teach you this strategy because they're not doing it because they're trying to be lazy. And this strategy will make you money with Toro and make you money outside of Toro. Powerful, powerful strategy. But so. I want to start digging into that really, really soon. So get in the corporate papers today. Be at the training today. Because if you're not in the corporate papers, you are a week behind. And as we go along, you're going to get further and further behind. And you may come in there, because I have us up the Facebook group, because you know we got a lot of people who want to come in and get instant results, and like I'm gonna be honest with you, you're not gonna get instant results. This is a methodical, long-term planning course. I'm gonna teach you how to set it up correctly. I'm gonna teach you how to implement it correctly. I'm gonna teach you how to set up your business credit. We're gonna do all that, but you must take action in each training is going to result with you having to do something at the end of the training. All right, so the link's below. Get in the corporate papers, and I will see you guys at 5 p.m. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. So I, hopefully you will be there.